Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Unity of Command Return episode. We are off to the second Yasiv Kishinev. What a fanciful name, in fact, it is. And we are looking here at a rather particular German line. The infantry divisions have once looking real strong. On the other hand, there's also a lot of Hungarian Romanian divisions. Numerous infantry, a few cavalry who will be slightly stronger. In particular, the left flank has largely been left to the Romanian forces. The right flank is a bit stronger here with some flak, stug, and a veteran panzer gunner division. They've also got, they've actually got some reserves. That's something, but again, there's reserves that can very quickly vanish. Right flank, slightly less weak looking. There's certainly definitely stronger reserves as well. There, they also got a panzer. We're also knowing here a Romanian panzer division here would have actually been. Equipped, I believe, with Panzer threes and force whatever the Germans basically could spare to the Romanians. They, I think, they might have gotten a few ta Tiger tanks as well. But overall, I mean, they largely had Panzer threes and force in that one Panzer division. They never really managed to produce anything themselves in terms of armor, from what I know. Though they did actually make a pretty good anti-tank gun, from what I recall, and a, a tank destroyer based on that, and then some chassis. They stole from the Soviets. Anyways, also something new here. I actually get T-3485s now. I actually get some bigger tanks. I even get a guards mechanized core with T-3045s and some Katusha tanks overall. I've got plenty of firepower here, comrades. I shall shatter the fascists. And overall, I mean, the main push is really going to come here. And it's basically going to crush as many Romanian divisions and push through as quickly as possible. And also need to get that point. Here, I mean, I don't expect progress to be as swiftly. It's going to really come here and then hopefully draw away some of the Germans from the right-hand side. So, let's begin. Already there, Porcus is made. That one was apparently a bit better holding up. There you go. Mm, I can't really get to that Panzer Division right as easily. Call in some air support to neutralize that a bit. Make things a bit easier for my cavalry. And there we go, already the Panzer Division is taking a bit of a flashing. Cavalry swiftly following up, or infantry following up. Need to quickly lay something in there so the Germans don't break through there. The Kibiks Division and the Jaeger Division could still in S theory threaten to do something now, so you need to dig those in. Since they're basically the one holding the supply route there, and I actually want that if possible. A bit of breaching there as well. Twenty third tank call rolling in. Nice bit of work there. Cavalry moving in to extend the gap. Need to get that cavalry out of the way. There we go. Mechanized core moving in. Taking up positions there. Sort of. Tank cross over there would not be the wisest of ideas, but there we go. Bit of damage there, that's opening up the 5th Guards Tank Corps. Well, that might not work out so well, but then again. In one Romanian... Ah! Some swear word in Russian. Right here, of course, the Germans are much harder dug in. I mean, this is a forested area, so that's not really going to go well. But even then, bashing a few heads in usually pays off a bit. So there we go, another Romanian element to be shattered. By intense artillery. Trying sort of there to breach through, but sadly... Not a frightful lot of luck there. Going to have to be... Guards mechanized core here to break through basically. 
And there we go, a nice strike on the Panzer Division there. That should open things up as well then. That's definitely going to cause some havoc in the fascist lines. Romanians, they're definitely not having a fun time either. All of a sudden cut off and absolutely suppressed already. And I think that's also going to cause some problems here since I might already in fact have cut supplies to that Panzer Division. So that might not even end up being combat worthy too. But let us end the turn. Let us see what happens next. Ah oh, no, they actually got supplies. There we go, taking up one point there. Trying to attack there, that did not go well. Panzer is needing the next assault on a dug-in division. Did some progress, but overall not much. Panzer is being rushed away. Panzer gun is rushing in. Infantry divisions as well. Schnell, Grenadiere! Wir müssen die Russen halten! As a vice, we are screwed! And there we go, those massive German infantry formations basically charging in there. And setting up a nice little line of defense there. The Romanians are falling back. Already beginning to feel supply problems. Romanian Panzer Division, they're definitely providing a bit of a headache. And we can basically see they're basically digging in everything they can here. I think that's the Fosani Gate. We can see the alteration trying to pull away from there since they're about to run out of supplies. Good night, Romanian fascists. Calling your air support there. Ooh, I can actually get through there then. Some of the Germans here. Go. And there you go. In fact, they're abandoning the forests, which is only really making it easier for me since that leaves them out in the open plains which is usually where I don't want to be caught on the defense if possible you generally want nice forested areas to hide in which is currently what they're not getting Go, good progress there. So, anything else I can do something with? Well, there we go. Already nice penetration along there. One pants, both, well, two pants divisions down, one German, one Romanian. We've got the 13th not looking too happy. And overall, here I'm basically shattering my way through whatever's left. They could do with the. F oh. Nothing in the force pool. Never mind then. Rushing in there, basically trying to block that massive armoured advance going through the centre. Well, what was once the centre. Jaegers have been completely cut off here from supplies. Quick counter-attack from the Panzer going to deal four bats. Reinforcing the one holding the gate. Flag 88 sitting up there. Fiends.
Ah oh, crap, I won't be making a brilliant victory on this one. Oh well. That'll be all good. Can't be all good. That would be nice if there were. I'll probably still manage to decide the victory, though, it's not all bad. in case they tried to pull up behind my tank divisions and cut them off from supplies, that would be a bit awkward. Need to keep that as well so I don't get cut off there. Otherwise they won't get supply, in which case I'll also be in trouble. Shifting in there, and let us end the turn. Oh, I could have used some air support. Bah! Bother. I do when if I get that. There's largely no real priority target to utilize it on anymore. Quick counter attack there. Trying to get out of things there overall not succeeding too well. Succeeding too well. And there we go. Another quick match, though. Another quick one. Yeah, I know. Nothing hugely spectacular, but they can't all be amazing victories, sadly. And certainly can't be longer once again. There'll probably be a longer one, not soon enough. So, but anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Brief, however, it was. This is Imperial Dane bidding you a good day.